Today we are going to break quad anchors and we're pretty excited because you guys have asked a long time for this and we've been wanting to do it for a while too. So this is our bolt buster concrete slab in our backyard. We have a seven point kind of equalized anchor going to a hydraulic cylinder with a hydraulic pump with a battery going to a dyno going to our brake tests. And this allows us to do about 300 samples in this concrete. And it's the highest strength concrete money could buy me three months ago when we put it in. And Bobby helped us put that in. Are you excited, Bobby? So I'm super excited about this test. What we are breaking today is a full quad anchor setup. Full. Row. <laughs> so we're very curious to see what's going to break first. Um, we have a... On the rope side, figure eight, like you tie into your harness. And then on the other side, we have a standard old APC. Um, and then it is uh, tied off with an MMO, a uh, mutter mule overhand of some sort. And why this is so short is because uh, the purpose of a climbing rope is to absorb the fall. And we don't want it to absorb all of the pull from our cylinder so we're we, keeping it really short we only have two feet of pull so um and then we have two uh black diamond carabiners both of these are rated to uh 25 kilonewtons in the major access pull even though it's a little wide down here this is this is not a realistic situation this is literally the situation <laughs> so this is the real life shit so all right what do you got up here um, and then we have two carabiners. I'm not sure where this one's from, maybe Wild Country. And it's rated to 23 kilonewtons. This one's rated from Mad Rock, rated to 24. And then we have a uh, six millimeter uh, tech, uh, not tech cord. Um, accessory cord? Accessory cord. Okay. This is not new. Neither is the gear you're using. So we're actually going to break this straight and in a loop in the uh, slack snap machine to kind of use it as a gauge. Um, because we're not trying to standardize anything. It's just um, something we would use. It's literally something. Bobby pulled this off of his rack. Yep. So you trusted it. Yep. What kind of knot do you have here and why? Um, so this is a, I believe it's called a flat overhand. Is that um, the European death knot? Uh, yeah, sort of. Variation of that. Um, so I've used it to join these, these two ends. Um, I really don't expect we'll be breaking at at this knot but we'll see yeah i doubt it because you've got two strands you got a lot of weak points here the carabiner should break first and these are uh three eighths inch concrete screws titan hd and strong hangers stainless steel fix hangers so we know these are not going to fail before any of this would and this is kind of our workhorse for bolt busters so it's nice to understand how everything works together in order to simulate this test and know what's going to break we are going to break more throughout this episode on our slack snap machine because it's about to rain <laughs> <laughs> and another cool feature is the fact that we film this stuff in slow motion with the galaxy s9 it does the uh, 960 frames per second that's 32 times slower than real life and in order for us to not get uh one hit by it uh we stand behind the catio door and pull the button you want to do the honors? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. So I don't want to get too close to this. Look how much at 19.1 kilonewtons. Oh my God. That rope is so flat right now. Wow. Um, that's digging into our <laughs> concrete. <laughs> Those knots look tight. I don't want to touch anything. So, but this just shows like how much rope stretch. I mean, that's at least at, that's at least double of what it was when we installed it. We basically ran out of throw the amount in the cylinder that gets sucked in. So we're just gonna have to reset it and kind of see what we can do. Okay, we reset it. We put a soft shackle with the skinniest side in here to keep the bend radius. Um, we didn't want to put something super fat like this inside, uh, but this is like, we know this won't break. So 
That's super good. That's super good. We're just going to pull this. It's already been pulled pretty tight, but well, let's just pull it again. That's how these go. It broke in the knot. <laughs> no. uh, that was the last place we thought it was going to break. Well, I, like, I thought I was going to break in the knot, but like, oh, geez, don't fucking touch this. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. Do we keep pulling? Oh, well, yeah. hey, you know what? That's cool because that's redundant, right? If like, especially if a rope cut any of those strands, like so far, so good. It's not slipping like another episode that we did. Uh, Dyneema slings with clove hitch and girth hitch anchors. So it broke at 27 kilonewtons. So it was 27. Now we're at 12 and we're going to keep pulling. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that, that officially broke over there. <laughs> and it's wow. Well, let's find out. Well, okay. It's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, so we got up to 22.8 kilonewtons. It lowered down to 4.25. Yay! Something finally broke. Uh, okay. Our carabiners look fine. We could just reuse those in yeah, another test. So, so this is what the retaining... Uh, a cord, the fourth cord that you leave in there to retain it in case the load does um, what it did. Does what it did. <laughs> okay. Okay. And these and carabiners the are fine. Um, I mean, they. If the master point only saw twenty ish, these only saw probably ten to fifteen ish. Ooh, we could almost redo this and put other dinos on there. <laughs> um, and that last thing broke at fifteen point one kilonewtons. So that's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty hard to generate that in a climbing scenario without your back being broken. And that that's already a, a catastrophic failure has already happened. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with a quad anchor. I uh, was not happy with clove hitch or uh, the girth hitch ones. Even though they are adjustable and use less material, this stuff's pretty awesome. What we got here is basically the exact same setup as we have before. Um, these are steel carabiners, just so we're not compromising more aluminum ones. And we're clipping three strands like we did out there. Maybe the next test we'll do just two and two, uh, one carabiner on each one to see if that changes anything. We're still using our overhand not to join these. So let's break some shit. All right, what happened? What a mess. <laughs> okay, it did not break in the knot this time like it did last time. Huh, it's just all, all three of- Massive ass failure. Two there and then one, probably the third oh, failed. These probably weren't pulling evenly. I think that's what that first like click was because it broke immediately after. Yeah. Usually it doesn't break at the, like the bend in the carabiner compared to like the knot. Yeah. So it looks like the, the knot cut these two. Okay. And then the third one. And we got 32.70 kilonewtons or 7,250 pounds of force. Okay. This is the same test as 861 but we're pulling on the shelf, not of the one that just broke, but if you were to clip the shelf of the quad anchor, um, the, how strong is it? Now this knot has already seen a lot of force, so it shouldn't slip because it's pretty well set. I have a theory, it might break here. Let's find out.
This was slipping so much. So we were wrong and right. <laughs> it did break the rope, but it also slipped. Wow, it's pretty warm. Um, the carabiner was pulling this way on this. Wasn't it pulling both strands? Um, it was clipped into two strands, not all four, and the two that it was clipped into. Broke. Oh. So it, yeah, it broke at the shelf, but this definitely rolled. Broke at the shelf. And you're probably wondering what the freaking kilonewtons are. It's 18.000 kilonewtons, or 4,000 pounds of force. Okay, this is a quad anchor where two strands are pulled by this carabiner and two strands are pulled by this carabiner. We'll find out if pulling all four strands is stronger. Two point three kilonewtons. It broke over here. <laughs> oh. So at the bend where it joined the two ropes, finally broke. Not not higher than 32.3. We're still being held in by this here. Uh, these two, these strands finally broke this whole side. It took, uh, you know, a couple different breaks to get there, but the highest force, the first force was 32.3 kilonewtons or 7,150 pounds. We're going to zero that out. This is the same anchor setup as the 863 test, except we just put this one leg. This bolt broke. Um, actually, the material broke. But uh, we're still in two strands uh, with that beaner and two strands with that beaner. So we're just going to see if that knot slips or if the whole thing fails right now. So it broke a couple times, um, and the highest force we got was 16.95. So that I consider to be redundant because it's pretty hard to generate 16.95 without breaking your back. I like quad angers. Nope. Okay, so while Bobby's resetting the setup so we can test what the accessory cord breaks at. This is six millimeter blue water accessory cord that has an MBS of 8.4 kilonewtons, not with knots, but that's just like tensile strength. They usually put it about around a big diverter, but once you start adding knots, you lose that strength. So just as a reference for how strong this material is compared to the quad anchor, uh, we're going to test uh, basically figure eight to figure eight like that, and also a loop using the same knot we've been using. And we added a long enough tail on here because if you do use a knot like this, as you've seen it slip, definitely want long enough tails. So let's find out how strong this material is. This accessory cord Bobby has had for about two years and it's in great, sh like it's in good enough shape to, he's been using it until we were basically curious enough and we needed something to break. So this is something that's well within the usable lifespan of this rope, but it is not new. Another reason we're gonna break test this. Broken the knot. Yeah. Knot starts to come undone. This side is still attached. Figure eights just don't stay very dressed because you're pulling on one strand. But we got 6.0 kilonewtons, which is pretty good. Yeah. 1.3 if the MBS is 8.4.
Well, they don't call them European death nuts for nothing. Whoa, the whole rope is so warm. We did get 9.95. However, that's not, I mean, it is higher than our last. Yeah, it, it was in a loop. Which it is higher than that. our last test, which was a straight pull. It was 50% higher than that. But like, I was expecting like double. Yeah. Right. Uh, we got 2,200 pounds of force. The rope, the core didn't fail, the knot did. You want to try another knot? Let's try another one. What, Fisherman's? Yeah. All right. Double? Yep. Uh, okay, so it broke. Broken the knot at 14.05. MBS is 8.4. That's kind of the results I'm expecting in a loop. Not quite double, but definitely close to it. What do you think what that would do with um, the quad anchors if we tied this knot instead? I mean, I, it didn't make, it wouldn't make a difference because they were failing first in the limiter knot. You can see where we started in the backyard where we ran out of throw on the rope, 27 for the biggest failure, 32, 32, which is pretty good considering the realistic breaking strength is six and 14 for a